So now what I want to look at is how to insert data into the database. So we're going to add a form in here to add new pages and edit pages. So let's first get a list of pages from the database to choose from. And the way we're going to lay this page out would be we're going to have the list over on the left. That's kind of a sidebar. And then the form load up over on the right side. So let's first build the uh, grid for the sidebar. So if we go back over to Bootstrap, take a look at CSS, click on the grid system, and we're just going to want two columns. So if you remember from previous videos, we're going to need to do a row, and then we're going to do two divs with the uh, column class. So let's hop over to Aptana. And we're going to go ahead and do this on the home page for right now. We'll section this off and do its own page later. So let's give ourselves some lines. And we'll make a div. Give it a class. We'll call it row. And then inside this div, we need two more divs. One will be our sidebar, and the other one will hold our content. And again, this is just something quirky that Aptana does sometimes. So let's go ahead and put in a class name for this first one. And we're going to call it col-md-and uh, let's think about this for a second. So we have 12 columns. Let's go ahead and make this one 4. And we'll come down here, and for this one, the uh, content area, or the, the area we're going to have the form, we'll make up the difference, and make this 8. And just to test it out, we'll go ahead and put something in here. And something in here. And we'll go hop over to our page, refresh, and uh, that might even be more than we need. We might even knock that down to uh, two or three, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and close, yeah, there we go, there's that, those boxes went away now. Let's go ahead and make this three and this nine. Now I'm on a pretty big uh, monitor, so... We want to make sure this also works for smaller monitors, so that, that should do for now. So let's go ahead and set up this uh, page list. So we'll go ahead and delete this paragraph here. And let's do some PHP tags. And we're going to do a query, so Q equals... And we just want to select all from the pages table. And let's go ahead and order them by name for right now. So order by name. And we'll do ascending. And we need to go ahead and get the results. So we'll run the MySQL I query function, give it the dbc and the q, which holds our query. Now we need to do a while loop. call this page list and we need to do the MySQL fetch associ and send it the result which is R and then our curly brackets 
So let's go ahead and just echo out the page name. So page underscore list, and then the key is name. Save that, hop over to our page, refresh, and we have an error. So let's figure out why. I have a feeling it has to do with uh, something I called in the pages table. Yes, I'm calling name and we want title. So we need to change that two places, order by title and we want to echo out the page title. Go ahead and refresh. And there's a list of our pages. Next we'll go ahead and style that list.